This podcast is sponsored by our SA Rock and Metal Fans Facebook page. Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Hey, Jeff. Hey. <laughs> what? I, I thought I was early, and then <laughs> you just let me know. I'm, I'm not even in the, in the chat thing imaging. You're not even in the same room or universe. Hmm. You're, you're, you're one of the yeah. million glowing stars out there somewhere. <laughs> nice pun. <laughs> Lion Raj, welcome to Talk to Trev. How's it going, man? Well, the dogs is having a great time. They they're chasing a bird um that's just sitting outside the studio. So if you hear the dogs, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. How are you doing otherwise, man? Doing good. Um uh considering you know the lockdown and everything, but um we take we take it a day at a time and and see what what we can do with what yeah, we have. Dude. How are you doing? Uh, no, all good, man. All good. But this ain't about me, it's about you. Because finally, finally, after how long? Damn! Do you remember the first yeah. time we met? Uh, was that a year and a half ago? It was it was probably a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. Well, with the lockdown, it, it seems. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not sh- yeah, with the lockdown, it seems like because I can't even believe that the lockdown has only been around for. It feels like three years that we've been in lockdown. It does, um, doesn't it? It just feels so, crazy. It just feels like it's been like like three years, five years, ten years, even. It's just so long. Yeah. Yeah. I think especially for the for the entertainers, for the guys that's performing and everything. Oh, uh, dude, it's, yeah, I, you you guys, you guys, you've got my sympathy. I'll tell you because it, it's not easy, man. Because I mean, this is a no, this is bread and butter to to a lot of artists and their only source of income. Uh, yes. Yeah, terrible. But and, I mean, you, you're doing okay. You know, you've, you've you've got the missus there to keep you in line, and you've got your little one to keep you on your toes, and you've got your yeah. uh, guitar lessons yeah. happening again. The guitar lessons we we're starting now a little bit smaller groups so um just to make sure that we have the protocols in place and everything but even with uh with anal my wife she's also a a, a a drama teacher as well she's also in the entertainment industry so it's we're both actually in the same kind of um we work in the same kind of environment yeah so it's it's difficult for both of us because i mean you you know when you grow up your parents always say get a normal job get everything and now we we were doing so well um, prior the the lockdown, prior the, the the whole the virus, this pandemic. So we were doing well, and then you know now we're back to the pl- to a place where we, you know, it feels like we're starting all over again. Mm. Yeah, square one, straight again. Not fun. Exactly. Yeah. So no. so tell me, um, LJ, um, do you remember the very first drink that I gave you? Very first drink. That you gave me. Yeah, the one and only thing. was t- <laughs> <laughs> Um. Okay, you have to give me. Was it a shot? No. It was a beer, right? No. <laughs> it, okay. Then it has to be whiskey. Yes. Okay. No. 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 It had, had to be whiskey. <laughs> is that what I, I think, mean to you? I, I you have to I have think, so many guesses. That is terrible. I think you asked me what I wanted, right? No, it wasn't. I, I was recording um, Rock on the River um, and Inside Job of Plane, your other band. And um, I was uh, video recording and you, and you stood up in front of the camera and you, and you ducked down and said, sorry. And I was like, dude, relax, man. It's, you know, it's not a high profile thing. This. That was a very, no, that was a very long time ago. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. It's almost, almost like two years ago or something, maybe even longer. But anyway, be that as it may. And then immediately after that, I poured you a Jack Daniels and Coke and said, "Yeah, have this," and that was it. Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I wish I can. I, I wish I can have a whiskey right now with I, the with the alcohol ban. I'm I'm sorry to to say this to you, but I've got a Jack Daniels right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking yes, orange yes. juice while I'm. Oh, I'm all you need is a shot of vodka. A nice yeah, I, I don't know, but anyway. It is what it is, but I mean, you're you're a fit guy, so I guess not having alcohol is is a kind of a blessing in disguise, right? I mean, you do the whole football thing as well. Yeah, um, blessing. Um, <laughs> not sure. Not sure. Not sure. 
Um, it's always good to have a ice cold beer waiting for you after you have been six hours on the field. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. Particularly when yeah, it's a music field, you know, you're watching a festival. That's the, you got to have an ice cold beer after that. Exactly. I don't know how, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Will we ever uh, so see those much, days again, though? That's the thing, though, LJ. Are we ever going to see those days again, you know, where you can just have an outdoor concert or a festival or a club gig or any sort of interaction with humans? I, well, I think we, we, we're all hopeful that that, that that will happen again. But um, realistically, I think it's probably going to take about a year and a half years maybe still to go I well mm. I, I, I that's like I hope worst case scenario um, but I think it's gonna take about a year or two years to, to get back to where we can actually act normal you know go out and and, and I know I, the I, vaccine they say they're talking about the vaccine now as well yeah I, I think I think you're you're a hundred percent accurate there I think it's gonna take a lot longer than what people think people think that after this current level everything's gonna go back it's not it's not it's going to take a no, long no. while i mean they got the roll out the vaccine and and god knows how long that's going to take yeah yeah well they're but, saying by december they will uh, uh, if i'm if i'm if i might be um uh, wrong but i think they said something about 40, uh, 40 million people will be vaccinated by the end of this year if i'm if i'm not um yeah I'm, so I'm not sure. only, only that's another, what i heard only another 30 odd million to go thereafter exactly <laughs> I'm just going to stay indoors so, yeah. for the rest of my life, man. Yeah. Well, sometimes it, it, it's actually sometimes when, when the lockdown started, I think the first month, I think maybe you as well felt like, you know, this this is not bad, you know, no, <laughs> staying yeah. at home and doing nothing. Yeah. Well, and I mean, I do, I do that you anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, don't, then you I, realize, anyway, I don't have a real job. I'm so sad. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I don't have a job. This is like a hobby. Anyway, I'd rather do a hobby than do a job, put it that way. If only it paid, that would be great. <laughs> That's the downside. Okay, so, so we digress plenty now and, and you know, time is, time is fleeting. So let's get into it, man. Right. Singles versus EPs versus LPs. Okay, so you've released how many singles now? And I should know this, but I just want you to say it. Uh, I think f- <laughs> I think f- <laughs> what's in this what is in this orange juice um I think five <laughs> I released five singles um yeah uh, are I you mean I could check me right if- now but I, you know I've, I've, you've got an answer you know and and there's there's a reason why I'm asking it but go ahead yeah, yeah I, I I'm assuming you, you the question is um if what is best to release singles <laughs> EPs or albums is that the question uh, no, well, the question is going to be why so many singles? Why, why aren't you doing an EP with three or four songs on? I know you're recording the next batch, right? You've got you're recording right now yeah. three three songs. So I mean, is is that going to yes. be an EP or is it going to be all three I, singles? I you know if I could, <clears throat> I would definitely want. Uh, I would definitely release like an EP. Um, but financially speaking, it's it's a little bit difficult because. I am quite blessed having a you know a studio at home, mm. and I am a recording. In, I'm a, I'm an engineer. I'm a sound engineer, so I'm quite blessed having the equipment and recording it. But to get it mixed and get it mastered is is quite um it's the so, financial so, so, side. So that, and, that's the, that's the heavy impact. That's the heavy impact, and also I mean during the lockdown, uh, I'm not generating as much income as I mm. want. Mm. So. It's it's uh, prior to this. I I I think I would I would have released about ten songs by now if it wasn't for lockdown. <laughs> Whole albums worth. I yeah I think an album at least. <laughs> but with the lockdown, it was a little bit difficult, you know, generating the income and and you want to create because I'm 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 a new I'm a newbie. Um, I'm not a, a um so as a solo artist, <clears throat> I'm just starting out. So it's I want to get the the you know the snowball going so that it gets bigger and you know get yeah. some traction and get some people's attention. Yeah. But um, financially speaking, it's very difficult with the lockdown, um, where I can't do uh, live performances. I can't, you know, I can do a internet show like I did yes. um, during and that, the first. And that was lockdown. brilliant. Let me tell you, my wife and I we watched it and we were laughing. It was so good. I'm mean, not laughing at you, but laughing at the skits in between. It was brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely, it made our Friday night. It was Thank brilliant. You. Thank you very much. And that and that takes so much. You know, it's 
I love doing it, but I, I think it uh, takes so much effort mm. to, because I'm not a, you know, I'm a, I'm a musician and to actually, you know, put that all together, you know, uh, editing it afterwards with a, sorry for that. The <laughs> no, that's cool. Go for the, it, man. The bird is still here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it, it, it was just difficult. Um, it's not difficult. It's just time consuming yeah. because I'm not a professional editor, video editor. Yeah. yeah. So it took me such a long time. I don't want to stress about that. So, but I'm still thinking of doing another one anyway. But you have to, I though. To you have to, though, LJ, because, you know, I mean, I know you're doing your sort of like your Tuesday tunes or whatever it's called, Tuesday podcast or, or whatever it's called. Yes. Um, yes, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And that's it. Tuesday, Tuesday. That, I, I love that. It's brilliant. But, I mean, if you can do that, then surely you can muster up a half an hour thing like you did the last time. Yeah, yeah. I know it takes yeah. more time with the whole, whole um, editing of video. I know that's what I do with my podcast. So it's not as if I'm just recording the audio and slapping it up there. I get that. I totally yeah, understand yeah. that. So mm -hmm. there's a lot more editing that goes on than just putting shit together yeah. and, and making it work. So, yeah, and no, I, 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 I understand that. But um, you say sound engineer. When, when did that come about? I mean, if you're a sound engineer, why can't you master your own stuff? What goes into that, that you could sort of do that at home? I think so. I always, I always try to explain when, when you record your stuff, there's, there's four, four stages um, in recording your stuff. Is first, first you get the recording engineer. This is the person that actually, you know, gets the best signal from all the different instruments, recording the, the raw um, sound of the, the guitar that, that the um, musician want right. or the artist want. And then you get it, then you send it to the editing engineer or the editor where he cuts and, and, and you say, it's, let's say your, your kick drum and your bass guitar isn't very on time. So they actually cheat a bit where they move the, the, the kick, you know, and the bass guitar in the same uh, time frame and everything. That's the editor. And now then you send it to the mixing engineer. And this is the person that works on the volume of each instrument and putting reverb on it and delay and flat and, and effects and everything. Right. And then the last, last process is the mastering engineer. And that's the person that actually like polishes like the whole thing. That's what that's, that's the person that usually pumps up the volume of the track. And then also it makes it a little bit of uh, like a radio quality. Mm -hmm. It gives you, it gives it a shine almost. Yeah. So these are four stages and, and what I do, I record and I edit. Um, so I, I cut out the first two parts right. where I, I can record it. And because I'm recording at home um, and I have my studio at home, I, I, don't edit a lot because I recorded. I'm so, I'm so used to recording, so my timing is quite quite okay. So I don't edit too much. Yeah. But the mixing and the mastering is is where the trouble is. That's I'm not I'm not a uh, very good mixing engineer. Or I am I'm okay, but I prefer using other um, other people because they have different ears. They have different mm -hmm. viewpoints, and 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 the perception of the song is different to them. So um, it's always nice to have a different uh, opinion about the song because they th I'm thinking like, maybe let's go this way. And then they, they hear something and they maybe feel like the guitar should be softer or the piano should be loud or whatever. And then they send it to me and then we, I'm like, wow, I didn't, I didn't mm, actually think okay. the song would sound like that. Yeah. So that's the only reason why I don't do it myself. Um, and the mastering engineer is also... Uh, same with the mixing engineer and the mastering engineer, they, they have different equipment. Mm. Um, okay. I, I'm more recording engineer, so I'm more based, I'm, my mics are good. You know, the recording of the, of the, 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 the instruments with the source is, is very good. So I record well, but I'm not a person that can actually go um, post recording and start putting reverb on it. And I'm okay. not really good with that. Right. So I, I, I prefer sending it to someone that actually knows and have been working um, with other artists as well. And they have an idea, a better idea of it. Okay. So we're talking about um, studio and recording the new stuff. Don't give me 24 yes. hour nonsense again, ever. <laughs> <laughs> and people listen to this podcast. They're what the fucking hell is he talking about? LJ. Okay. <laughs> Now, let me just explain this very briefly. LJ will say he's got a new single and he'll post it up on, on social media and given an exact date when it's coming out without checking with me because I, I'm blessed enough to do his uh, distribution 
uh, and thanks to the missus for to your missus and now for uh, suggesting that you stick with me that's very kind of her thank you very much and <laughs> then i have to scramble around like a madman all right i need the lyrics i need the who's what playing what and you know i need artwork for this that and the other come on man surely you can plan in advance for that you see that's 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 a thing right there's, <laughs> there's two two steps to that firstly i i put the i put the the deadline there that's actually more for me because as an artist i don't know if you you, you obviously know a few artists but I as a be one, so i understand yeah if, if, exactly if you don't put a deadline to something you know what's going to happen it's never going to get You're done you're going to it's never going to get done so but the problem is i put the deadline there for myself and then i realize oh my god <laughs> shit i need to, i need to, I, I i need to finish the song so i can send it to trev so that he can actually put it on <laughs> the stuff and it happens if i'm i'm not even lying it happens every song every it's single every, song yeah if, every single song and the thing is even with the with the artwork right it's like i i just for example um, my next single i'm i'm planning is 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 a song called ellen or idiot it's either either uh, one of those right but i i want to shoot i want to shoot the 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 photo shoot at a certain time so that i can start promoting it right so <laughs> but, but it's like it's like if i if when once i do it right and i have a date i i just put it out and i force myself to somehow generate that cash you know <laughs> To, to pay for the mixing and the mastering. Yeah. So if I don't do that, if I don't put myself under pressure, it will probably never happen. Yeah. Um, no, no. But fair then point. I put you under. You put under me under pressure well. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's, uh, I, I've, got, I've got the easy part of the job, man. I just throw it up there and put stuff together and try and meet the expected yeah. date. <laughs> I think the worst one was uh, with Jackal the Bones that I had less than 24 oh, yeah. hours to get it up on Spotify and Apple. That was fun. Oh my word. <laughs> yeah, it that worked. was a, but, it, it worked, but I mean I I told them, you know, we need to get this done by a certain time and Yeah. But I mean um, the only reason you know, why it took so long was because we had to negotiate um, the signing and the contract and and uh, Layton yeah. is a very particular person. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's, he is. He is. He is. But, but he's that way for studio, a reason. So it's good. Yeah, he's that one person in the band that everyone needs, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you finished that sentence off properly. <laughs> like, missing word doesn't need or something like that. Yeah. No, no, he's a good bloke. He's a very good bloke, and 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 I thank you for sending them my way, man. I really appreciate it. And let's talk. Let's talk about uh, the new stuff, man. Um, three songs. What is the process right now? Is that, are they finished recording, mastering? What, what is the situation? Um, the the song that I'm I'm ninety percent done on, eighty five percent done is a song called Idiot, and um, this is actually the song that I wanted to release. Um, last year, I think I told you already, but mm. uh, obviously with the with the finances and everything was just a little bit difficult. And I always say finances. Everyone's like, "Oh, you're talking about cash, you know." But it's very really difficult as a as a musician. But anyway, um, so I wanted to release that one first, and that song is about a a, um, a, a guy that uh, that is he likes to get smashed, you know. Um, and I know a few of those people. <laughs> But the problem, the problem is, is uh, also I got inspired by a few people. But the problem is sometimes is that they are very uh, hypocritical, you know, mm. um, <clears throat> regarding it. I don't have a problem if you if you if you if you get smashed and you you know you want to have a good time and you're drinking and you're enjoying it. But the problem is when once you know your your friends and your family want to help you out and you you just um, you're making as if they are the the antagonists, the, yeah. the bad guys. Yeah. Okay. One of the dogs is fighting at the background. Oh my words! Seriously, there's violence. There's violence at my home. There's violence that's in see, South Africa, but it's you, headed your way. Yeah, that's what happens when you're drunk. You, we have got a drunk dog <laughs> fighting in the oh, background. That dog is a goddamn idiot. <laughs> so anyway, this song. This song is about that guy. You know, he, he's he's like having fun, but every time his friends want to help him out, and he, they 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 try want to try and help him go in the right direction. You right. know, okay. he, he makes as if they are the idiots. You know, right. but at the end okay. of the day, so it's quite a fun song. It's it this, the, the <laughs> verse is about. <laughs> the, the oh, verse, that, right? that is an absolute gem. 
It's about uh, yeah. you know being an alcoholic and you're telling everybody it's else fun. around you that they're idiots because they're trying to help you. But it's actually quite a fun song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, musically, it's quite fun. Um, I had to finish that saying, musically, it's fun. <laughs> um, the, the, the verse is about how he sees life. And then the chorus is the way that other people see him. Mm, so okay. it's the I I try to to change the the genres quite mix a bit so it's it's a it, it it's quite shocking when you hear it and mm. then the second one is called um, uh, mountains this song I wrote actually quite a while back um, it's about uh, I think I not I I know I wrote this song to my wife before we were actually dating and she was going through a tough time and I and I wrote the song to about um, the the chorus is Mountains are high and steep. It's up uphill till you reach its peak. So it's just about sometimes you know in life you it feels like you just you're just struggling, struggling, struggling. Yeah. But you have to reach the peak, and once you get there, it's downhill you know, and easy. It's, yeah. it's downhill again, and you can and you can you can look at the beautiful view or whatever. Right. So um, that's that's the second song, and then the last one is called Ilan, and that's a song that I wrote to my to my mother that passed away. I, I, the first song, 11th Hour, was also written to her, but this song, I actually wrote it before she passed away. Right. Um, but this song is about, I wrote this before she passed away about her passing. Oh, wow. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so Was that something I, that, that I, was I expected or, or yeah, her passing or was yes. it uh, sudden? Okay. Yes. My, my, my mom had dementia, um, early stage Yes, dementia, I remember so you telling me, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So basically, she loses function of her bod- body, and, and she at the end of the day, she can't swallow her medicines and everything. Sure. So um, once she, but, but but yeah, but the 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 one thing is, I was I was I was sad, obviously, when she passed away, but I was also relieved mm. because the suffering was, you know, it was done. You know, the yeah. suffering is done because you don't yeah. want to see your mom like that. Yeah. And um, no, I can the relate. My, my about dad was exactly the same. He he had. Um, uh, was it prostate cancer and he was diagnosed mm. in January and less than six months later he was dead and wow. and and what he went through was was not fun so in the end yeah. for us it was like at least that suffering is you know yes. fucking over thank yes. fuck for that because it's hectic and like you say you, nobody wants to see anybody that they love and know yeah. in, in that position it's terrible yeah and and uh, in the bridge, uh, there's a part where I say, um, all the things you thought that you did, all the wrong things that you thought that you did, um, but don't you worry about that because I know who you are. Because the reason why I said that is because prior to the dementia, obviously she lost uh, memory as well. So she, at the end of the day, she couldn't remember who I am and everything. Right. But I rem- I remember who that she who she was, mm-hmm. you know, before this happens. I knew, so um, I, I I actually don't have a lot of um, memories or photos um, of her while she was suffering. I only have photos on my on my for, exa- for example on my cell phone. I only have photos of her before it, before right. it happened. So it's all photos where we're smiling and we're happy and. I don't want to remember her in that state Absolutely. because Absolutely. I, I, I looked after, I looked after for a year and a half, my, yeah. my wife and I. That's a, that's a burden so, in itself, um, but I mean, it's a thing that we all have to go through at some point. Yes. yes. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's a, uh, this is now like a very, um, what, what do you call it? A uh, very sad part of the, the, the chat, but anyway, but we're going to get past this. And that's it. That's the, that's the three songs. One okay. is a fun cool. song. One is a kind of hopeful song. And the last one is a sad song. <laughs> so, um, so it hits all the elements. Yeah. <laughs> Rad, man. Well, I'll, I'll, well <laughs> I'm going to say this tongue in cheek. I look forward to hearing them <laughs> as they come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you will hear it one week before it gets released. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, now you've signed um, Simone or Simone Mune. Yes. That, uh, okay. Uh, so Monet, her artist, Monet. her artist name is Mune. Yes, uh, a stage name. Yes. Okay, a stage name. So Mune. Okay, is it to play on Simone or Simone? Simone. Simone. Uh, Simone. 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 Okay, so that's how he says Simone. Mune. Yes. How did that come about? Actually, um, I manage 
And you're going to put me out of a job, I just realized. Why? <laughs> you're signing the artist, man. You can do what I do. You can make yourself some money on the well, side, man. I'm sending all the all the artists to you anyway, so it's, <laughs> well, you can it's, do it yourself, man. And you know, I mean, you're doing this already. I mean, you might as well. You're the right person to do this. You know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You know, I mean, you could look after your own stuff. I'm, I'm, I don't want to put myself out of any sort of work, but I mean, believe me, if you had to get involved, you realize that there's not much to be made. But I'm just saying. I mean, you could do this sort of stuff, and and I mean, you're part of the inside job as well. So I mean. Yeah, I think you should, you should think about I it. Think man. That, yeah, I, th I think um, I understand what you're saying, but I sometimes it's it's good to have uh, people that you know that can do it for you. The reason why I'm saying that is because my plate is already so full. You know, mm. it's um, I get that. Yeah. Well, I, because um, uh, I'm recording now prior to lockdown, or <laughs> when we go back to lockdown. Uh, 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 to normal life, I mean. <laughs> I have to, I, I mean yeah, we're going to go back to lockdown, lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I'll see you now. Uh, now. Yeah, Monday, we're going back to lockdown, lockdown. Oh, my old lockdown, lockdown. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's not nice. But if once we go back, I'm going to, my, my days are too hectic to stress about other artists, you know, and so that's the only reason why I did this is because, firstly, I, I, I think Simone has a, has a talent. Um, and there's yeah. something to, 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 to help, you know, I want to help artists that is struggling, that has the talent. Um, but also to use you as a, as a person that helps with the distribution is also nice because I know you personally and, I, and, and you help me as well. But the thing is, I don't want to put extra workload on myself, but if mm. I know people that can actually do it, you know, I, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Um, time wise, because I also have a family. Sure, and um, it's it's already crazy. Yeah. But with with Mune, how it started, I I manage a theater, Old Mill Theater in Paul. It's a theater in Paul. It's the mm -hmm. only theater in Paul. And she, uh, we, I had an open night evening every Friday, and this is now also prior to lockdown. And she performed, and I was quite impressed by her. Of course, she was she's an African she's an Afrikaans girl person friend a good friend of, of, of ours now and um but she she um she was really you know what's the word um she was she had something different what to what the other people had right. um just at the x factor mm -hmm. and i could see that you know the some there's something there that can be you know can be helped you know yeah and once she once we i got in contact with the because she performed on my live show as well, my online show, mm -hmm. and she did the backing vocals for me on Silent Screams. And oh, okay, okay. Um, so you can actually, if if you can't, if you can remember, um, yeah, I can. But she yeah. was the, 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 is, okay. the person that sang the backing backing vocals for me. So I told her, look here, I'm willing to record, you know, you, and um, and you sign you as an artist, you know, because I have time at the moment. I mean, with the lockdown as well, and I yeah. want to help and, and see what I can do to get her off the ground. And she just lives around the corner from me, um, not not really, but eleven eleven kilometers. <laughs> but um, uh, it's like a happy song, but it's sad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I'll write. Just hold it. I'm writing that down. Just hold it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can have that gratis. <laughs> so yeah i just told her look here let's let's do let's try and and record your your first single and just get this thing going yeah um and then we recorded it and now she's releasing her first single on the 15th of jan damn right. and she recorded i made sure of it <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you to trev and uh, yeah no no I'm, I'm excited about the song because it's a it's a i think it's a it's also a song by uh, you know inspired by lockdown i I'm, I'm assuming although she doesn't wanna she doesn't say that actually but i think it's a it was written during lockdown so right um well i think we're all inspired one way or another well not inspired maybe yes. uh, you know um we're affected by it one way or another so yeah yes yes <laughs> we, we, i think it's we definitely to, to can't say inspired by it jeez like another yeah joke. yeah <laughs> no. So LJ, um, tell me, how did this musical journey for you start? Can you remember when you first picked up, say, a guitar I, and everything like that? Yeah, I was uh, I was 16 years old, 
and um, oh, a late my, bloomer. What am I, okay, very very late. But my my one of my friends, we always always had church at home. It's like a home church, and we were singing songs, you know, and you know, my redeemer loves and everything. And one of my friends, he played the guitar, and I always was like, wow, this this is so cool. And he's he's like five, seven years older than I am, but so I I looked up to him. He was like my older brother, and he was playing guitar and. <clears throat> Say about when I was just out of school, we got a phone call saying that he committed suicide. Oh. And and the guitar that he always played was was the guitar that my dad had. He usually played my dad's guitar. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna pick up the guitar and start playing and trying. And I was so hooked. I, I don't know how to, how, how to explain it, but in the in the first week I could play all the mate all the basic chords, all the chords. Wow. My my mom my mom always said my hands were bleeding you know the bubbles on your fingers mm-hmm. I just couldn't stop playing it was it was like a like a revelation like yeah. this is now this is the thing that I want to do for the rest of my life wow. it was in one week it was like you know music 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 and I know prior to that I used to write a lot of poems and I was I was really like autistic you know trying to write and, and writing yeah, okay. stories and everything but it, it with them with the guitar I could actually make you know, so I can do songs. I can, yeah. I can make it songs. And um, so the first song that I wrote uh, was a song called "Year," and um, it's a it's it's a Christian song. Um, I I grew up as a as a very strict Christian boy. Okay. And and my parents were quite strict. And <clears throat> so we decided we gonna not not I actually didn't decide. My 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 sister. Melanie, she she's the drummer of my band, The Inside Job, and she was working at a music um, department, music school, and she saw this pamphlet that said, uh, uh, "What is it? Artica Fia Music Competition, Inter- uh, National Artica Fia Music Competition." Right. And she she entered me <laughs> into the competition. <laughs> Without my consent. Oh, ouch! And, and, have you have you paid and, her back for that yet? Well, I'm I'm quite happy that she did it now, <laughs> <laughs> because um. So what happened is like um. I told her, look, I was obviously I wasn't really good with oral. I wasn't good with public speaking, and I'm 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 really, I'm not good with you know being in front of people. So I told her I'm not going to do it, and then after a while I'm like you know. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. And 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 I mean, music. I love music. So I had three songs, and I got my cousin, my two cousins, to join us in the band. So it was like a family band. Mel was playing drums. My my cousin was playing a uh, drum, a bass, and the other one was playing um, uh, acoustic guitar, and I was playing electric guitar and singing. Right. So we went to the comp, and we had four four months to prepare, or three months to prepare. So we practice every day. And long, st- long story short, we we won. I won best composer uh, nationally. Um, I won. We be- won best group, and we won um, best song as well, or something like that. A best nice. group, best song, and best composer. So um, that was in that was this three months bef- before that, or let's say about six months before the competition. I just picked up the guitar. So in six months, wow. From picking up the guitar, I uh, we won these awards. So obviously, I said to myself, you know, God gave me this talent. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop doing this, and and, and we just kept on going. So that's how it started. Excellent. Um, that's the reason why I'm, and, I'm still and you, going. And and you touched yeah. on there. You said the inside job. So so what's happening with the inside job? The inside job is it's a it's a little bit stagnant at the, at the moment um, <clears throat> because, firstly, I think. With with our bassist Sean, he's he's working at CBC. Um, terrible, place I'm to not work. Sure if they terrible, have... terrible. Yeah, Nobody I mean, can drink beer I'm... tasting that early in the morning. I've seen the photographs. You're yeah. despicable. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even <laughs> sure if he's if he can work at the moment. But um, but even during lockdown it was just too difficult because he had to work around the clock and everything. It was difficult to get together. We can't do um, we can't do live shows anyway. Yeah, and when we are available to record, he cannot. So right. it was a little bit difficult. Now with the lockdown as well, it's not helping at all. Yeah. Where we actually said that we're going to start recording this year again. Yeah. 
So, because um, I, I know there was talk so, at one point to, to start recording, but then obviously everything just yes, went mental. Exactly with the lockdown now, it's it's back to you know where we can't even plan anything. Yeah. Um, and and I'm I think Sean is actually back to work because he they need to make sure that the you know, because he's one of the brewers there. Right. So I'm not sure what, what are they doing with the beer at the moment, but <laughs> they, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm I wonder not sure. why he's I'm working around the be... clock. Yeah, I'd also be sleeping yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sleeping there in the, by the by the brewery, <laughs> drinking all the pale ale and the vice beers there. <laughs> yeah, but, well, you can't um, sell it. Might as well drink it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm, I'm I really I'm I'm excited. I'm hopeful that we can record the inside. Well, job. I hope so because I, I only got to see you guys once, and and that was at uh, the Rock on the River, a uh, couple of well, probably two years back, and. And what I saw was like this, Sean is so, such a groovy bassist, man. And, and Molly's just yeah. like, it's like such a happy chick. And, and then there was you, it was like yeah. this, the star, like the center, just going mental. And I love that. <laughs> it's, it's like a good energy. It's, it's a positive, happy vibe energy. You know, it's not aggressive. Yeah. It's, it's just really, yeah. it's really cool. And I, and I hope you guys do get to record and convey that energy on, onto recordings, man. But I want to talk about yeah. your guitar lessons and, and how um, can people get in touch with you for, for lessons? Is it virtual? Is it in rooms? What, what is the situation as we stand? Well, that depends if, if obviously if, if they're a little bit further, like I have a few students that's, that's not close by that we have to do um, zo like on zoom, uh, we have to do classes. But if you're close, then then we can do it either at your home or in the in the Omil Theater. So it's if if you're in Paul, obviously in Wellington, and you can can come to um to the theater, or I can come to you, then I can give you classes at home. But otherwise, Zoom or um, Skype or whatever, that's that's how we do it at the moment. Okay, cool. And you and you've got a Facebook page for that, or is it just the the Lion Raj page? No, no. Um, it's uh. Actually, have a, we have a music and drama school. It's called Tailored Arts, um, Tailored Arts uh, Music and Drama School. Okay, cool. and I'll you can put find that in the it, link in the description it. below, so everybody can can click and if they want okay. uh, any virtual lessons or in home lessons or yes. whatever the case may be, I'll, I'll put that link in there for you, so uh, you can uh, at cool, least uh, hope maybe pick up one or two. Who knows? Who knows? I want to talk yeah. about my favorite track, a Million Glowing favorite Stars. One? Yeah, my favorite well, you track. Know do you love, know why you love it? Go on, tell me why. You know why I love it as well. It's because I think I think I'm I'm going a little back to more my roots. You know, where it's a little bit more uh, real. You know, I'm not saying that. Obviously, the the previous song is is um, you know it's a little bit more popish. But I think Million Glowing Stars just is borderline. You is going to more a little bit of a rock rock and it is, rock style. It is definitely. It's it's mm -hmm. got a, a one. I oh, tell you what. That that keyboard, um, it's just so eighties. The sound is eighties, and mm. it's it's like alternative new wave eighties, and and that mm. is my ear. And when I first heard it, I was like, I got the gooseies, man. I was like, oh, this is hitting me right in the in the in the sweet spot, man. This is I love that song, and and I think I've got it on my Spotify um, playlist. I think I do, but anyway, um, love it, love that song. What's that song all about, man? Millennium Stars. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a, I, I'm, I love philosophy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm big on, um, you know, trying to not conspire. I'm not going to say conspiracies. I'm, I'm more like a person, like I, I listen to a lot of debates and, and I'm a little bit boring on that. And my wife is not interested in that, but um, <laughs> I, I, I like to listen to, you know, debates on atheism and Christianity right. and, okay. and, and different kinds of viewpoints and everything. So, um, and the, the, the song is a little bit, but it's about questioning everything. It's mm -hmm. questioning, you know, your existence, questioning, you know, where are we from? Because at the, I think the, the most, imp my, personally, most, most important question is like, where are we from and why are we here? You know, yeah. um, it's, it's, um, it's a, it's a question that not all want to think about, but, but that's one thing I always like, Sometimes I think, you know, when I'm just driving and I look at all the mountains, I'm like, I'm so small, you know, mm. I'm, I'm, You're we are literally like significant ants. little ant in a massive big yeah. pile of yeah. madness. And exactly. And we, why am I here? And why are we here? And what is, why is there 
why the mountain so big? You know, did giants live here? You know, all of these questions. You're gonna have all, any question that you can think of. But um, I think it's a very important question as a as a human. You know, to 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 question, to to think, to use your brain, um, and and think about such stuff. You know, it's it's uh, it's quite um. It's food for thought is what it is because it it it, it is the yes. eternal question that how why are we here what's our purpose yes. you know yes. You yes. Know, yes life and death what's that yes. all about you know it's crazy you know is there something yes. afterwards <laughs> who knows yeah. You know? yeah and of course the 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 big question that everyone's like is there a god you know it's it's a, or is there no god you know is is it you know those are the those are the things that's that's very important and I'm I'm not <clears throat> I don't want to force that the, the way that I wrote the song is not trying to force people to, to decide, you know, there is a God or there is no God or, you know, we come from the apes or we don't come from the apes who are believing in the big bang or not. Yeah. It's just about questioning it, you know, yeah. just think about it, you know, and yeah. um, so that, that, that people can, can, you know, you know, make up their of own minds. Yeah. Yes. And instead of thinking about Instagram photos and, social media how we have become so see, reliant on it it's sad oh, look at us now we but, create um, more social media exactly but the thing is we look i i sound boring to normal like not normal people but i sound boring to, to most people you know when i talk about the, the stuff i sound like i'm high all the time you know <laughs> are you being an idiot right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> possibly i'm the, I'm the, possibly. I'm the one drinking the jack daniels man i don't know i think i sound like a bloody idiot but anyway it's a it's a beautiful song i absolutely love it and and regardless Thank of you. its uh of its message um however it's perceived it's still a great song absolutely i absolutely love that song that's that's on all of my Thank playlists that much. i have my personal playlist Thank as well you. as uh all, all the other stuff so keep that coming man oh love it um the studio now that that can't be cheap to get that set up and and everything. Yeah, luckily when when <clears throat> when I finished school, um, my my mom and my my dad they 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 saved up money for my studies. But because um, because I my studies didn't cost that much, there was a there was a there was some cash still left. Right. So my 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 dad asked me like, "What do you want?" And I told him, "Look, yeah, I want I want." recording equipment you know to get my to, to to this is because this is what i studied for and i wanna i want some equipment so i've i've built um in the last i i start my i think i opened up in 2005 so it's 15 years now that I, wow I've had Jesus. This studio. i thought this was a recent so, thing i didn't realize it was like such yeah. a wow yeah and but the thing is i haven't actually it wasn't really open for the public it was more for my personal use um <clears throat> I was just, you know, building and, and trying to record and trying new new ideas, experimenting with sounds and, and the mic techniques and everything. And it's only recently that I decided, you know, I'm going to I'm going to try and, you know, help other artists as well. Obviously, I, I did this uh, way before I actually it's it's public now, obviously. But um, yeah, so I built I built my studio since then since 2005 i had the basic equipment uh, i just got myself my my dad got me a mac uh, g5 mac i don't know if you remember there's a really old one yeah and i got a i got a dg design a dg w2 and and some v6k or k speakers and um that's it that's all i had and then i had um i had a vocal mic and a uh kick drum mic that's all okay. that's all i had when i started and then I just built from the, you know, as I recorded, I re, I, I listened back and I'm like, oh, this doesn't sound good. So I need this, I need this and this. So that's how I built, built from, from 2005. But it's a, it's an ever growing list of requirements to have a studio, yes. isn't it? More Always. things that you need. <laughs> but, but I, I have realized that the, the nineties <clears throat> equipment has been, has been my best friend. Mm, um, okay, but I think I I think it's because maybe I I love the nine, 90s era music, um, but but I've I've bought a lot of nineties nineties um equipment. Okay, oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So how how can people then um sort of get in touch with you with regards to recording and stuff like that? 
I I have a page on Facebook. Um, I don't have a website for for um, the studio. It's actually called HQ Studios, but you can contact um, contact me directly on Line Raj if you really want to. Okay, you want we'll to check it out? A, we'll put a I, link in the description as well, and and people can then. Uh, to get in touch and and as long as you send me that that link um to the uh to for the guitar lessons as well please lj so i can uh, get that in the description below so people can like love share and comment and get in touch with you and all that sort of thing so we're uh, coming to the end now give me your perfect rig rundown that you would like to play on live perfect rig run uh you're talking about obviously the equipment right yeah uh, the, the, the rig the rig that you sure. can play on guitar pedals Strings, all that sort of stuff. Oh my word! Uh, sure, it's a very difficult one. I'm gonna be honest. I'm <clears throat> I'm not very well uh, educated on what works best live. I usually just work with what I have. Okay, what have you got? Let's let's go that way. What what's okay? Let, let's, let me put it this way. Okay, let, we'll do this. We'll do this twofold and threefold. Okay, what are you playing on right okay. now? What guitar? I'm playing on a SG uh, Epiphone, uh, SG Epiphone, and um, yeah, that's that's basically the electric guitar I'm playing. And an acoustic I'm playing on at the moment. I'm playing on a Fender. I'm not sure which Fender is this. I literally bought this last two for four weeks ago. Oh wow! Nice. Um, for six for six for six hundred bucks. No way! I cannot I cannot believe it. No, dude. There's a shop. How did you manage but, that? But, but anyway, <laughs> there's a shop in Cape Town. But anyway, <laughs> there's a shop in Cape Town. Yeah, I know those shops too, man. <laughs> yeah. And um, but anyway, so that's that's that. Um, and then pedal wise, at the moment, I I like the Line Six pedals. I, I know it's a little bit old school, but <clears throat> I I use it mostly for for especially my recordings. It's it's very easy to use and. And because you can you can choose the amps digitally, you know you right. can choose the amps and the, right. and the reverbs and everything. You can you can tweak it a bit. Obviously, it doesn't sound like the real thing, but it sounds very close. It's it it. I don't. I, you know, sometimes you, you you cannot really hear that it's different yeah. actually from an actual. I guess I guess actual. Yeah, input. I mean, if it were a clean sound, then uh, with nothing else around it, you'd be, you'd be able to spot the difference. But because it's mixed in. Yes. You're not going to yes. notice it really. So, what yeah. would you like to play on? What guitar would you love? I've always, I've always wanted. Obviously, I think everyone would love to play on a Gibson. I've, I, um, a Gibson, um, Les Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would love. I haven't even played on one. Yeah. yeah, I haven't played on one. Um, I think I played on it once or twice or whatever. But. Um, yeah, but also it, it it gives a certain sound. So it depends on which. See, see now I'm thinking like a like a guy that's recording. Once, <laughs> if I <laughs> if you play with a Les Paul, you have to. You, it, it fits a certain style of play mm. or certain sound that you're looking for as well. Yeah. Where the the one that the SG that I'm using, it's it's quite versatile. You can yeah. use it quite in very different um, styles of, of of music because I. On all the songs that you hear that are recorded, I use the SG. Right. Um, okay. And and you're literally using all on all the songs the same instruments. It's just different kind of sounds that I'm trying to emulate or trying to 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 get out of. So, what is the Lion Raj surviving COVID tip? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I think uh, uh, you know. Don't don't be stupid, you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't be an idiot. Because I think, I think you get a lot of those people, you know, you know, respect other people's space, you know. Mm. And if other people wants 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 uh, space from you, don't take it personally. I think uh, that's one thing that I've learned. Some people take it a little bit personal when you tell them, you know, just to stay there, just stay there. I'm gonna keep my distance. <laughs> um, and um, I mean, obviously, everyone's have these. Uh, you have you seen Facebook? All the comments, you know, does a mask, does a mask actually work? You know, is the is the vaccine gonna work? You know, is yeah, it is it yeah. gonna make me sick? You know, all these questions, you know, like don't don't forget I, to, to I, remove WhatsApp. Oh, eh? um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of Instagram course, Facebook and Facebook, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Of course, Facebook don't know any any of our information. Of no? course it's not. Like, no. uh, yeah, it's only WhatsApp. They yeah. don't know anything. It's only WhatsApp. <laughs> I tell you, people, no, so are, people are, are idiots. I mean, they are actually an idiot. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's sad. It's sad. But um, yeah, I, I think that's the thing. Don't be an idiot. You know, just respect other people's decisions. If they don't want to use the the mask, but that doesn't mean that that um, that they should. They should actually respect you if you want to wear the mask. You know, it's just, yeah. just, 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 you know, just be, uh, be, you know, be kind, be nice, be considerate. Be considerate. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Message received. Lion Raj, Mr. LJ, Mr. Twenty Four Hours to put a song up on the internet. Thanks for talking to me, man. It's uh, it's been well long overdue, and it's been great to to catch up to you with you and um, obviously we chat off air a lot um, every now and then and uh, when the next song is ready or when you have an EP ready you know whenever that'll be and you have an LP ready and again whenever that'll be let's do this again okay no that sounds good thank you for having me <laughs> I'm gonna put a date on you right now man so we can <laughs> get the pressure piled up on you and I look forward to the next three songs Idiot, Mountains and Ellen man uh, it sounds like they're gonna be belters and, and awesome sad and happy so uh, great, yeah. man. Great to chat to you, uh, LJ. And um, we'll, t- we'll chat again soon and do this again. Thank you very much for having me again. And, and please say hi to the family. I know you guys, uh, I'm, f- I'm following everything there on Facebook. I uh, see you guys are traveling a lot. What, you've got my fun. personal data? <laughs> if I know the stuff, you know, I think uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, don't have a chance. You know, I, I do my research. All right, cool, man. Lan Raj, LJ, man. Thanks, for, thanks for again for chatting with me, man. I really do appreciate it, and, and I absolutely love Maling Glowing Stars. And that just that does it for me, man. Every time. But keep safe and uh, keep your distance, and don't be an idiot. All right, thank you. I will try. Okay. <laughs> All right, regards to the family, man. Keep well, brother. Okay, bye. Yes.